it is 3.30 in the morning and y'all probably can't see. How about that? All right. It is 3.30 in the morning. There's a nice 75 degrees outside, which is ridiculous for 3.30 in the morning. But that's the way summers go around here. And uh, I'm headed off to a new spillway. Finally get a good chance to go out and do some fishing. And I'm taking a trip. We're driving about two and a half hours down southwest, damn near on like the Texas border. And uh, now we're gonna have some new dam, spillway area. Hopefully we'll find something big there. I don't wanna talk too long because it's weird having my light on. So we're gonna turn it off and I'll see you again when the sun starts coming up and we are at the spot. All right, small update. You noticed uh, you're seeing what's in front of me here. Uh, my GPS, for some reason, decided to take me down this tiny little, like, side dirt road thing. I don't know, it's more of a trail than anything. It's about 6 a.m. right now. And it told me to park here and walk 15 miles through the freaking woods. Like, what the heck? There is a literal paved road that goes to where I'm trying to get to. Why do GPS's do things like this? So I finally got some signal again and managed to put a new marker on the map. Hopefully, it'll actually get me where I want to go this time. And it says ugh, it's about a 30 minute drive from where I'm at. So I guess that works out a little because I didn't anticipate how long it takes the sun to come up now. I guess I'm still thinking in, you know, July terms. But uh, I guess I guess we'll see you when we get there, assuming we make it this time. Well, it's uh, 6.30 now. Still on some dirt roads, just lost as shit. At least this one seems a lot more used than the last one I was on, and I got a lot more light to see what the hell is going on. Still don't really have much signal though. Oh, is this pavement? Oh shit, I'm on a paved road. All right, well maybe we're getting somewhere now. What's, what do I got here? What is this? That's eh, just a little pull off spot. There's a gate. It looks like I'm going out of the gate. So I guess that's a good sign. No, wait, that's going into the gate. I don't know where I'm at. I don't know what I'm doing. It's just a hell of an adventure today, I guess. I got a little over a quarter tank of gas, so I should be okay. Now that I'm on pavement, I should be able to get somewhere. Well, GPS is kind of back up and running. I think I'm coming up to the lake. This definitely looks like I'm coming up to a lake and a dam, which is where I'm trying to get to. Oh yeah, oh geez, that is, that is way down there. Y'all don't get to turn and look, but you can kind of see the edge of the water. But I'm not going to the right side. I'm going to the left side. So I gotta get around and down to where the water's coming out of the lake out the dam which I can kind of see down there kind of all right well I should be there soon hopefully then all right we finally are here this is where I was trying to get to so you got your big rock dam up there and on the other side that's where I was driving over the other side's the lake and you got this little spillway tube tunnel thing up here so I can't get too far up into there really wish I could just stand right along it which I suppose I could if I wanted to stand up on those gates but that's a real big drop to try to get my fish and haul them up there and if I catch anything sizable it's just not not yeah loose rock it's just not an option <clears throat> so I can and I can get pretty close and throw yep I can come down on here, if I can wedge a rod in somewhere. But I can throw something just up into there. That should be all right enough, have that sit there. 
and then I've got all this going down and I figure out maybe I'll throw another tie line like right here at the base of this little running area it looks like there's a little pool here and then you know I can cast around I got a lot of walking room so <clears throat> I think that'll be my plan and since I've already done a lot of talking so far and not much fishing since I just got here I don't think I'm gonna bother showing the setup for everything as I do it I'm just going to get into it so y'all can see what you came for that's fish so I'll just do a real quick rundown what's going on a little cooler here I've got my usual shrimp bait and I've also got a red-eared sunfish that I've had in the freezer for a while and some drinks so those are gonna be my baits I'm gonna put a chunk of sunfish on my big orange rod here. He's gonna be the one that goes up in there. I've got this rod, which is smaller and tangled and lighter, but also my tight line rod. He's gonna get a shrimp, come out here. Once I untangle it, I got my light action there with a rooster tail, cast around with, and for tiny fish, I've got the tiny rod with the bitsy minnow so that's what we're going to be using to start with that's how we're going to set up now we'll just get to it and hopefully start seeing some fish Ooh. something's bending this Kind of a big bait, I'm gonna give him a second. Drop it? Who dropped it? Someone was definitely down there messing with it. Still there? I don't think he is. I just get stripped? Strip a whole damn head off this thing? Oh, nope, it's still on there. Something was definitely messing with it though. Look, chew his nose right off. Interesting. Well, I moved on uh, downriver a bit. Couldn't walk it. Shoreline that uh, I have access to, not that great. But. I did manage to drive down a bit and the road ends in this little campground. The river keeps coming and it's got a few little spillways, like little rapid spots that go into pools. So I figure I can come down, spend, you know, 30, 40 minutes in each one, see if anything happens. We're going all the way up to the top where I can start. Just work our way back down towards the Jeep. And hopefully, we finally catch something, because uh, otherwise, it's like a real big waste of a day. This is where we're starting. Got a little concrete fishing pier thing going on here. May as well throw all my crap. Throw it all down here. Keep it nice and together so I don't lose things like I typically do. Let's throw out a shrimp. Got something here. Not very big. But it's a fish. Catfish? Yes. Oh okay. yeah. Channel. Little guy. Hey, he's the first fish of the day. First sign of fish all day. And look, he's just barely hooked little piece of skin flap there on the top of his mouth ow well now i'm hooked well that's what that's what we came here for there you go three hours driving 
120 dollars in gas lost in the woods for this guy but hey it's finally something get out of here actually it's gonna be a total of six hours driving because i gotta go home at some point Mine just danced right when I made that cast. First cast after putting that fish back. Maybe it just rolled off a rock. It's a little bit better. Maybe. No. Nope. He must have just been on a rock to start with. He's even smaller. That's alright. Not here for size. I'm just here for anything. But a nice little channel. Apparently, this is where all the little baby channels hang out. Yep. Finally, something on the rooster tail. Ah! Oh shit! This just I'm super slack. there. Something definitely grabbed it. It's a good sign. It's like about half of it's eaten off, which not necessarily a problem since these fish seem to be kind of small anyway. Get back out there. Damn it. Finally, the first bite on a damn casting lure. It popped off on me. Then I lost something on the tight line too. There's something finally. Feels better than those little baby catfish we had earlier. Still a catfish. Still ain't very big, but uh, it's bigger. We'll give it that at least. That's at least an eaten size channel catfish. Barely an eaten size. Oh, we got the little squeaks for us too. Barb likes to get in there. They're not the best pliers for this particular job, but they're the ones I've got convenient. There we go. Well, another channel. This is fish of the day for now. Maybe we can find something better. Who knows? Yep. He's got it figured out. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of bouncing and moving. Or something a little bit better a 
Okay. What do I got here? It's a drum. I haven't caught a good drum in a while. Um, let me get my net for this guy. Hmm. Be a little tricky right here, but where I'm at. But come on, come on, man, he does not want to come in. Ugh, that's a good fish. It's a real good fish. In fact, I think I'm going to weigh this fish. Nice look at our drum down here. You can lip these guys, but they're kind of hard to hold. Get my hook out first. I got good control over them here. Come on. Now, I'm still going to use my grabbers, just because it'll be easier Ugh. put them on the scale that way. Look at that. It's a good fish. I bet he goes three pounds. Scale, scale, scale. Three pounds, four ounces. Good fish. Let's see. Let's walk him over here. like yep got a little bit of a pool here probably get a nice release on him uh. all right bud Oop, turn around there you go Oop. he's getting it figured out he's a little lopsided I'm sure he's just gonna hang out for a minute, get himself sorted. Check on him in a minute. All right, at least there's not just catfish in here. But with that, after all the turtling I got happened to me, I think I'll move down over by those rocks. You know, I think it's about time to know when to give up. Uh, definitely hasn't been the easiest of days drove a long way here got up really early got lost as shit caught a couple little catfish one little uh, long-eared sunfish a pretty decent drum nowhere near like a giant drum by any means you know it was all right enough was it worth the six hours of driving sleep deprivation and 120 dollars ish in gas I don't think so, but uh, it's really hot. It's, uh, it's about noon, so I've been here for five and a half hours or so, and I think I think that's gonna do it. I think I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna go home, get something to eat, sit in some air conditioning, and I guess I'll catch y'all next time.
ਸਹੀ ਆ